So, when I prune trees, I find it easier to have a look at the tree first and make some decisions about where the problems are in the tree. And all the time I'm thinking about I'm going to be picking fruit in a few months time and you know and where is that fruit going to be? I've got some thinking about that. I'm thinking about my plan for this tree for this coming season but also the next two seasons. What do I want this tree to look like? How is it going to get there? If I make a cut like this is that going to push the tree to where I want it to be or is that going to not work? So when I look at this tree the first thing I notice is that the, the root stock is well out of the ground. So we were talking earlier about 100 to 150 millimeters. Well, that's possibly 200 millimeters. Great. Perfect. There's no chance that the, the red, is this red chief? Red chief. Yeah, there's no chance that the red chief will produce roots to go into the soil. So this is good. There's the graft union and that's where we want it. Great. Alright, so the second thing, I'm thinking about light. We talked about light yesterday. Light is the, f the, the engine, the, the petrol, the fuel in the tank to make this whole thing go around. Light equals yield, more light, more fruit. Light equals quality, red color, taste, firmness, dry matter content. Light equals bud quality. Good quality, strong buds in the outside of the tree where there's lots of light bad quality weak buds in the inside of the canopy where there's no light. Fruit in here, if you think about summer, this will all be full of leaves. The fruit in here, good color or bad color? Bad color. Good eating quality or bad eating quality? Bad eating quality. So if I look at this tree, my first th thought is, so this piece here, is it doing anything useful for me? This one is crowding this one, so I, if I take that one out, I'm not missing anything. This one is probably useful, but only from here up, and I've got these two anyway, so I don't need this one. This one is a little bit low, it is getting some light, so we could keep that one, but really we've got enough other stuff around. So the first cut I'm going to do is take this one out. I've got a saw, I'm going to take it out like that. I can use loppers or I can use a saw, it doesn't really matter. Thank you. All right, you can see it's already changed the tree. So what about this one? The only, there's one piece of wood on this whole thing that is useful. And it's this piece here, from here to here. So I've got this whole piece of wood and I've got 30 centimeters that's actually useful. Get it, get rid of it. But I'm going to keep this one. Okay, so those were the two cuts that I thought were most important, sorry. So, how, what do we think about the tree now? Do we think it's much better? A lot more light in here. All of these buds are going to get some light. Much more open. So, 
the, the cuts that I do from here or the changes I do from here are probably a little bit less important. I, I could make two more cuts. I could cut this off over here and I could cut that one off over there because there's a bit of shade going on here and there's a bit of competition and shade going on here. This one here? Yeah. That's, uh, that's a good point. So the, so the other thing that I tend to do is I tend to work from the bottom of the tree up through the canopy and make those decisions as I go, as I go through. So, and I just find it easier to work like that, I think like that. Okay, maybe it's the science part of me. Um, so that may, may be another thing that we take out. But I'll tell you what we'll do first. If we look, about, look at this, at the, what we call the footprint of this tree. Um, how do I describe that? Each tree has a footprint. If we look up there, those trees have big footprints. It's a big tree, it covers a big space, all right? The trees in here, smaller footprints. Um, so this tree at the moment has a footprint about that size, okay? We have some space to go before we get to that tree. We have some space over here that we can use before we interfere with that tree. So we've got a little bit more space. We can we can stretch a little bit. So what I think the next step here is to pull these out a little bit. Just like that. Maybe that one. Just like that. All right. If we do that, it comes to here. We easily got enough space around us. So I would be either pulling them out or we can put some spaces um, spaces in them. Maybe we'll show you some spaces here. I would do the same with this one. I would pull it out slightly. Okay. With this one, probably also pull it out that way, like that. All right. So we can also make some spaces. Um, like this. I hope you guys are happy with me using a point. We can do something like this. If I make the, it's difficult to make these sharp enough with my secateurs. Maybe the <coughs> space is a bit big. Okay, just to spread it, I could use string and a stake in the ground. Sometimes that's easy. That it's easier to do this. This is probably a little bit thick for that spacing, so it might slip out. We might need a smaller, sharper one. <coughs> and then the last one thing I would do is think about what we're going to do with this. We probably have a few options. We could take it out there. It is quite strong. So it's probably a, a uh, another one of these 50 50 deci decisions. You could go either way. You could, if you're going to keep it, it must be tied over. Okay, otherwise it's competing with this one. If we're going to take it out, well, then that solves the problem, but we may lose some fruit. Okay, We've, this is a, if we go back to the footprint, this tree has almost got to the size that we want it. We don't want 
a lot more vigor in it. We just want to keep it going like it is. So, and remember that every time we make a cut, we're going to release a little bit of vigor into the tree. So, and remember also we have, we, we want to try and make some money this year, but we've, we've also got some decisions we can make in 12 months time. This 12 months from now, one year from now, we'll be standing in front of this tree again, making the same decisions. So the question then is, if I take this one out, I'm going to lose fruit for this year. So what happens if I just bend it over, put a stake in the ground, I keep it for this year, I harvest the fruit, I pick the fruit from this year, and then this time next year, next winter, then I make another decision. Is it still too strong? Is it, or can we live with it? If it's too strong, we can take it out. So I'm going to make the call in this 50-50 decision for this, in this position, I'm going to say, let's pull it over, a piece of string into a stake in the ground. We're going to pull this out and space it. And we're going to pull this one over and we've already spaced it and that's how we'll leave the tree. Tree finished. <laughs>